All right, so we are back. Getting, Part nine. Yep, getting ready for the uh, final stretch. Yeah, we're popping off for the satisfying sound. Yep, for these final chapters. Oh my God, guys! It <sighs> took you so long. It's not so good up there right now. Right. Oh, he's gone. But yeah, we're almost done. I think it's another two episodes, oh and we'll be done. I know it's two more parts because I know the last part's chapter ten. Um, it's just a question of how quick they go. But you've been blasting through the past couple. Another way out. You've been going pretty quick. It's what happens when you miss everything. <laughs> you really have missed a bit, but you still figured it out. So it's working. I was down there. It's horrible. There have been a cave in, in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Um, what is the... Huh? This is the safe room, M. Please. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Yeah, I really do like how that just none of them decided to bring the gun. Not a single one. Even if you know it doesn't do you any good, like... It still helps a bit. Yeah. Just in case. And you never know. There might be something else besides just the Wendigo. I mean, heck. He's running the wolves. He's gotten lucky with one. That doesn't mean the others will let him go. Speaking of the wolves, you're about to find your good buddy again. Oh yeah? That's good. He's not about to tear me to pieces. Hungry again for a new snack. Realizing I don't have a gun to fight back. Because you left it behind? You know, don't have all my fingers. You know, just in a, in a rough place here. Don't have my machete because we left that too. Mike, Mike's had better days. He really has. He lost his girlfriend. Who may or may not be dead. You don't know. Yeah. Well, she hasn't had a death scene. <laughs> At least not an official one. So it's quite possible she'll pop back up. Maybe even in this chapter. She might. Okay. Could you imagine? Okay, so this just popped into my. So we've been playing a lot of Metroidvania stuff, right? Mm hmm. Could you imagine an HD 3D Castlevania like this? Oh, I would love it. Because, like, Lords of Shadow is great, right? And by that, I mean it was good. It was passable. But it never caught the scope of, like, this no. HD look. It was very. I mean. Back then, you know, it wasn't that bad. It was but... also PS3. Like, back yeah. then, yeah, it wasn't bad. Oh, that's but, like, I there hasn't at. been a PS4 yeah. HD Castlevania, and that would be so good. Yeah. Like, as, you know, much as I would love a new 2D one as well, um, very much would enjoy just, like, a full-fledged, just beautiful-looking 3D game. It would be a good time, because... One of the things that they've talked about um, in Castlevania, one of the things that Iga talked about, uh, the guy who made Bloodstained, was he wants to keep the Castlevania legacy alive, whether it's on his own through like Bloodstained. But if Konami were to reach out to him, he would. He said he would gladly make another Castlevania game oh, yeah. because he wants to make the one set in 1999 that is talked about in Arya of Sorrow, but it's also hinted at at the end of Curse of Darkness. Because, like, that gentleman who shows up, he talks at the end of Curse of Darkness about, like, um, like, there'll be a time when he'll actually be defeated. Like, he's hinting at the new millennium fight. Yeah. And I was like, that was the one thing I was waiting for, was that playing as Juice, as Juste Belmont in 1999 and killing Dracula for the final time. But they, that's when Konami turned to Lords of Shadow as opposed to finishing it. And I was like, oh, well. It's not going to happen now. And then now we just don't have anything. <laughs> we don't have 2D. We don't have 3D. We at least have a show, but... And the show's great. And I'm really hoping that people's, like, 
revitalized love in the show and the Castlevania Konami collection. Yeah. That's like, what really I'm pushes hoping. people. Because, like, people still very much love their Castlevania. Like, oh, yeah. You can't just let it disappear. No, no, you can't. Just you look cannot at, let uh, it go into obscurity. Like, like just that. look at Capcom with Resident Evil. Like, they hit a rough patch, but eventually, uh... It came back. Yep. Why? Because people still very much liked Resident Evil. Classic Resident Evil. And that's why Bloodstained is doing so well. Yep. Like, other than the Switch port, people have nothing but good stuff to say about the Xbox One, PC, and uh, PS4 versions. Yeah, because just from limited experience so far, it's really well done. Oh, 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 So oh. that's a danger thing. Did you... S what was on the other... Was that a gun on the other side of the fence? That you saw? Might have been. You were unable to get to it, though? It didn't give me any option for, like... Okay. He just kind of looked through the fence. So, danger. I mean... So that's a threat for the future. So Mike has to be afraid of Wendigos. Yeah. That one's, you know, pretty obvious. Bit self-explanatory, yeah. I think he knew that when he left. Yeah, for sure. That's what you know, I just thought of another great game for the 4th of July. Remind me to tell you after All right. we're done. It's something we could get done on Tuesday. Yeah. Come on. I know you see it. Holy hell. Makeshift Graves from 1952. I wonder who those could be. I think I missed this when I played. All the crossbars are the same date, February 24th, 1952. What happened to make so many people die on the same day? I imagine those are the miners? The collapse? That's what I would think, but maybe there's something else. Another death occurred. There must have been a massacre. Um, go up to... Where is it? Do the, do the telegraph. Which one? Down. Right there. Oh. Um, scroll down. Never mind. Scroll back, back out. Go up to first row after the camera. I, I, I think it's the collapse. Because this is them talking about the miners yeah. in June of that year. Yeah. That is my assumption, is that it would be all those people that, had, uh, you know, unless it's just very much something else that, uh... Well, so there's some shit that happened in the sanatorium, and I'll tell you about it, because we don't have a PSVR, so there's no way we could play the game. Because they came out with a sequel to this that's really a prequel, called The Inpatient, that talks about the miners in 1952. Um, I've seen a Let's Play of it, but I haven't gotten to play it. Because, again, we don't that's, have a PSVR. That's the totem again. Never mind. Yeah. Wait, am I not going out? I don't think so. I think you're staying in for now. Because okay. I didn't see where you could go. Yeah, I didn't see either. But it looked like that's where it was leading me. Uh, okay. Go back to where you saw the gun. Yeah, maybe? I was like, if I'm coming back in here, then I'm definitely very much going back to... Oh, oh that's the cigar box again. Yeah. There's got to be a way for you to get in there. So yeah, there's... I think that's a gun in there. So you need to find the key yeah. or a way in. Yeah, because he very much just kind of looks through the gate. Um, see if you can... You looked in that room, right? Yeah. You didn't see a key? No. Because this is just with his... Uh, or with all the... Uh... Mm-hmm. What about the next room after? Uh, next room after... Was locked, I imagine? I don't think there was any prompts. Yeah. Okay. So I guess there's upstairs. Did you check the three doors on the other side of the room? Well, I know you checked the one because it takes you outside. But there's three gates on the other side, too. Uh, yeah, because there's no prompt at this one. It's caved in. What about that one? And... There's a prompt at it, but is it locked? Yep. Okay, I might have just missed that one, but thankfully it's locked. So. Well, I imagine you need the gun to get through it, like kind of like the other one, you gotta shoot it. Yeah, because, you know, that's the only way to get through locks. Yeah, obviously. 
So, yeah, I'd say go upstairs, see if you can find the keys. Yeah, seeing as this looks like it's blocked now. Yep, won't even let you see the door from this far. So, upstairs we go. Up the stairs. You know, you're, you're handling this well, Mike. Mm hmm. For mm -hmm, mm -hmm. knowing that there's a terrifying, uh, super powerful creature on the loose. And the fact that you don't have any weapons. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There we go. Just drop down from above. I was wondering. I'm like, there's got to be a way in there. Because I know you get a gun. Yeah. Because, you know, you got to go out your way to get a gun after leaving your gun behind. This is a better gun. Yeah, maybe just a little bit better. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. I mean, if fire works against them, the fire's probably better than the... than the flashlight. Yeah. That being said, yeah, pocket the flashlight. Yeah, keep it just in case. Yep. Grab as many bullets as you can. And, uh, load up. Ah, good enough. Yep. And you do have unlimited ammo, because this is not a combat game. Yep. <laughs> and you can get out now. I like how his gun just randomly disappears. Uh, so now where the hell am I going? The door with the lock. Oh yeah. That's right, so now I can shoot it. Exacto mundo! Get that last stogie, too. Guy's not gonna need it. This is true. Not that he's gonna take it, he's just gonna... Look at it. Yep, just revolve it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. But still here. But it at least makes it stop telling me to press X on something I've already seen. That's true, yeah. Yeah, okay. Time to make a really loud noise. Oh, well, that was loud in my ears. Yep, I'm sure that won't backfire at all. Nope. I mean, it's Robbie and he'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, he's... Oh. Hey, bud. Hey, big guy. Happy to see me again, huh? Hey. Alright, David, so you have one main objective in this next section. Keep the wolf alive. Keep the dog alive. Fuck Mike. Keep the dog alive. Way to put a lot of pressure on me here. All right, here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Couldn't have said it better myself. Ah, boy. If only it was that easy to just befriend a wolf. And have him completely understand you? Yep. Just, yeah, sure. You know, it's hard to keep you alive if you go running away from me. Yeah. Granted, I think you probably have better defense than I do. Never a good sign when places have long-ass fences like this. Yeah, it's very, like, prison culture. Yeah. And a no-entry no danger, entry danger of death, death sign. sign. Yep. Never a good time when the dog starts, uh... No, listen to him. He's telling you. There are bad things in this building. He knows better than you. He can smell them. With your puny human senses. Stuck on this side. I wish... A lot of things, but hey. We gotta deal with what we got, like... Oh uh, yeah, this makes a lot more sense now. That warning of the hand reaching to the bars. Yeah, because where did the old man keep all the Wendigos? Locked up. So whatever you do, uh, Mike, please don't press any levers that might open up all the doors. I mean, it's probably a good, good idea, good way of thinking, David. Yep. 
Because, you know, one's bad enough. It is. You don't want six more. As I feel like there's two. Because Josh was getting dragged in by one of them. As you and as Chris was getting attacked by another. So I feel like there's two. That is true. Like, unless it just placed Josh to the side. But... So I'm wondering if there's the initial one from last year. And then the one that you think Which would is be Hannah. Hannah. I could see that. Like the one that was chasing Hannah and Beth. And then the, the one that Hannah became. Yeah. Which, by the way, David came to this conclusion on his own at the end of last episode, I think after we turned off the recording. I'm not sure, actually. It might have been before. Because we talked about it while we were setting up again. And he thinks that Hannah, because we don't know if she's alive or not, he thinks that she became a Wendigo and ate Beth. Yeah. It, definitely an outcome I could see with her being stuck down there, dying, mm -hmm. starving to death. A uh, report by Dr. Brown notes several serious... Bowen. Oh, Bowen. Irregularities in some recent patients. It appears that the patients were undergoing some sort of physical change. You don't say. Interesting. It's almost like those miners that came back uh, better than they should have been were... Uh... <laughs> the patients were first admitted to Blackwood's medical facility five days ago. During this time, we have run a number of tests, both physiological and psychological. The results have been extraordinary. In... In contravention of common medical expectations. Uh, symptoms observed. Pallor, skin dispigmentation, severe, vic oh, severe vitamin D deficiency. Social dysfunction, longer than average. Well, the vitamin D would be why they don't want to go in the sun. Yeah, yeah that would be it. Uh, so yeah, a whole bunch of... Oh, three attempted assaults, one attempted scratching... Lots of violence. Uh, expected but not observed. They should be dead. Uh, within... Da -da -da. Unusual growth and strength. One patient lifted 725 pounds. That's... Uh, sure, that's fine. Superhuman, I mean, yeah. sure. Place under strict observation. That would definitely explain the restraints. <laughs> Restraint strongly recommended. Change from one orderly to three orderlies. I don't know if that's enough. 24-hour day observation. So, yeah, looking like you now understand a little more what's going on, Mike. Hmm. <clears throat> Starting to feel... Oh! Hey, it's look. the other wolf! Because he had two, remember? Yep. Oh, son of a bitch. That's not a good sign. Poor Wolfie. Oh, he's sad. Now he's pissed. I mean, you kind of knew what you were getting yourself into. Like, you knew it was out here. That was like, I will fucking kill this thing. No. I'd say one of them broke out, it looks. Um, yeah. These doors were built like tanks. How crazy were these inmates? And did you not just read that note that I was reading? Like, crazy human strains. Let us out. We are free, starving, freezing. I will make you pay. Stop testing us now. It is possible that maybe... That day where a lot of people died was a day that, like, one of the Wendigos got out and went on a big massacre yeah. before they could contain it. Very much so. Just killed a bunch of, uh... Get people on the same day. Get away from those bars. Okay. It's not that, quite that spot yet. <laughs> You're getting there. Yep. Like, all I know is I see bars and you better watch out. Oh, uh, I see you out there. Sneaking along. Mike might not see you, but I see you because of this zoomed out camera angle. I see you because of forced perspective. Yep. I have a bit of a bit of an advantage over you, Mike. You got very limited range of sight. Luckily you're controlling Mike, so possibly. <laughs> I'm not a very good shot. It's, you do gotta get a little faster. 
Just don't miss. They give you enough time to move it. Just don't miss it. Yeah. That's at least the main thing I've noticed, is they do at least... Like, I expect that to get Ooh. a little shorter. But was like, at least they do give you a little more time than, like, some of the quick time events to kind of get your thing in position. Yeah. See what you'll find in here. Yeah, let's make some noise. That's always... So it's the guy in the chair. Doctor... And looks like he's starting to lose it. Rawr! I'm a monster! Rawr! Rawr! I got a shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, let me out of here! Screw oh. your restraints. Oh, never mind, I'm just gonna climb on this wall. I'm Spider-Man! Screw your walls! J. Jonah Jameson would be so happy. I need pictures of Spider-Man! Oh god, he's broken free. Good. Oh, this could be the day of the massacre. Yep. What the fuck is going on around here? I mean, I think you know. The restrained patient seems to turn into some sort of creature. It becomes violent. It attacks the people, making the fill. You don't say. Oh, one of them updated. Probably the, uh... Yeah, the chair to show the... Yep. Yeah. Now that he knows. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Showed a miner turning into a wendigo. Yep. So, in a way, that's a lot better compared to what initially you could think when you see, uh... Oh, the chair yeah. Chair restraints. Sex swing. Just all kinds of other things. Seeing, you know, people that are showing extremely hu unhuman strength and violence. Much more acceptable to lock them up. <laughs> Alright, what are we gonna find in here now? Nothing good. Probably not. Probably gonna get murdered. Cause that's some... That's some oh, wooden... that's a prompt on the wall. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the desk at Oh, first. it is the desk. Oh, it is it? Okay. It's just like awkward. It's a weird perspective, yeah. Looks like we got some doctor's files. Open the vanilla folder. Blackwood Sanatorium. So that's the guy in the psych ward. Ooh. Oh, it's showing his transformation. Yep. Jesus, hot sauce, Christmas cake, this is fucking unbelievable. That's the same. <laughs> Jesus, hot sauce, Christmas cake. <laughs> that's a good one. A series of photos of a miner called Billy Bates. They show transformation over several days. By the end, the miner has clearly become a Wendigo. Well, now we know what happened to Billy. We do know what happened to Billy. That's the guy who was talking to the little Lorraine or whatever in the yep. postcard. Or she was talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, quite a bit of uh, observations and then clearly not good. Also, just don't want to be walking towards this wooden wall with all the light pouring through, but let me walk near it. Let me bust through it. Let me make more noise. Bam! Mike, I think we need to find a better way to unlock things. Nope, brute force, all the way. Who is this guy? I mean, whoever he is, he's not alive. Hopefully. Hey, here, here. What's up, Sonny? Sorry, all good. Oh, never mind. It's fine. I'm just old. To whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. They are dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This hell is my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. No escaping my fate. Death awaits me now. Jefferson. <laughs> Bragg, yeah. Jefferson Bragg. So that's the doctor who was in charge of all the experiments. I figured. Some sort of massacre outside. Yeah, so. Does it have a date on it? Uh, no, but I yeah. imagine that's the February massacre they were talking about. Yep, that would be my assumption. 
he's all inside while everybody else is dying and okay so I guess this was a dead end uh yeah but it helps you find Jefferson Bragg oh yeah I mean outside of learning more about what's going on see if you can walk towards the camera more sup dick <laughs> Yeah, that just helps you figure out kind of more about the sanatorium. Yep, the doctor's office. All right. Now let's make our way to somewhere where we'll get attacked. Oh, yeah, because it looked like they wanted you to go down the hallway, but you came this way. Yep. Because, yeah, you came through that door. There we go. Yeah. Go back towards the uh, ground. Towards the wolf. wolfie. Because he knows what's up. He knows where the danger is. Right there. Yeah. Jeez, Mike, we've been over this. You know what it is. I know. It's not a surprise anymore. It's called a Wendigo. And it's for being a cannibal. You knew exactly what it was. I know you may not have believed the old man when he was talking about it. Hey, hey, Wolf. I don't know if I like that you're just standing here. It's like you're telling me not to go out this way. I think you know better. Yeah. Fucking rat. That good old misdirect. Fuck. Will make you uh, shoot at this useless thing and really. Alright, David. Save the wolf. I'll try. You're putting a lot of pressure on me here. Now's no time to stop. Especially not when things can hop and climb around like that. Yeah, I would keep running, Mike. Yeah, you also might want to reload. You only got two shots. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. fuck. You're out of oil. Damn it. Why didn't you have Emily's torch? That thing lasted forever. No fucking way this is happening. Nope, nope, it, it's definitely happening. Maybe don't just keep going back to that door. Is that my only way out of here? It might be. Yeah, because it's not even letting me... Uh... Who's, that? Who's there, really? Oh god, oh god. I definitely should have went left to begin with. Uh. Well, that's one way to get you back in the room. Yep. I mean, there's still a big hole in the... Get away from the window, Mike! I know, stop putting your face right up to things. Oh. Oh. So he does still have the machete. Okay. Wait, where's his shotgun? Don't tell me you just threw your shotgun. David, lock the door. Lock the door. <laughs> tell me you just threw your shotgun down. No, okay, it's in his hand again. Okay. It swapped back. Good thing he's got that auto swap. I was about to say, if you threw your shotgun down just for the machete... Why do you keep asking what that is? You know exactly what it is. I'm not liking how this is going to go. Just got to be careful, David. Don't move a muscle. That doesn't help, you know. Telling you not to move? Yeah. Okay, so I guess next time I'll tell you to move, David. <laughs> nah. I'm just here to make you more nervous. Appreciate it. Get Mike killed. Yeah. I mean, I don't think talking's helping. Mike. I mean, I gotta talk to help you. Just... No, I'm talking about Mike. Talking to uh... himself. 
Like you don't need to mumble to yourself, Mike. Like <laughs> they do have ears. Where are you? Mm. Okay. Okay. Huh. This seems perfectly safe. Yeah, all these busted up bars and what? Doesn't seem like he's gonna get killed at all. Doesn't seem like he's gonna be reached out from behind, like in a certain totem or nothing. No, not at all. As you continually, as you continually just back up the things. I mean, the old man told you when it's gonna stop. Dawn, in two hours. Get away. So this is where he had them all locked up. Time, yeah. Boys. Enough of me for all you. Yeah, you uh, probably shouldn't talk trash, Mike. Yeah, probably not. Not when they could easily destroy you. I mean, it makes him feel confident. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta keep yourself moving. You gotta play the part. <laughs> But you should probably very much have your head on a swivel. He gets very tunnel visioned at times. Check those corners, right? Yeah. He keeps looking in one direction and ignoring everything beside him. And now is not the time to scratch your nose, David. You scratched your nose right as the prompt came up. You're like, shit. Yeah. I know. Mike, you're in a really bad spot for me now. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. Oh no! Not good. Come on, Wolf. Push the door open for me. R2, move it! The wolf's already through the door, it looks like. Apparently. The wolf left you behind, buddy. Say hello to my little friend. His name is Barrel. Oh. So remember what he said about releasing Wendigo spirits? Yep, I remembered right as I shot it. It's fine. It's not like any of your friends are eating human flesh right now. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like in that moment, Mike would have been panicking and... Well, Mike doesn't know that. That either. also. He had left. Yep. Mike very much just uh, knows about fire. Yeah, he doesn't know that killing them is a bad thing. Especially two of them at once. Hey, wolf. Where'd you go? Currently, the wolf is okay. So he is alive. You, you, you kind of left me. I'm by myself. Need somebody to talk to. Wolfie? Wolf of Maru. Willy Wolf. Wombat Wolf. That's a good one, Wombat. Yeah. I hear y'all crawling around. I mean, they should all be locked up at this point, right? You killed two of them. I know. But that's superhuman strength. Eventually they break out. Oh, I did not... Wearing the headphones, you could hear it coming around the right side. Yeah, I had a feeling that was probably what was getting you a lot. Like, certain things you didn't know. Like, earlier, like, you didn't remember hearing. I was like, yeah, you probably don't notice that when it's just coming out the TV. No, you don't. Wearing headphones makes a difference. Yep. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Fuck. I feel you there, Mike. Yeah. Uh, gotta pick, gotta pick. Alright, you're just gonna try to escape? Probably not the best idea, but... Hey, buddy. Oh no, don't tell me I got the wolf killed. 
Sorry. I got the wolf killed, didn't I? Yes, you did. Oh. Damn. Oh. They made it even worse by showing him die right there. I barricaded the door, and so at that point, that's where the wolf lives, because the wolf goes off on his own. Yeah. It doesn't help that they didn't, like, you don't see the wolf in there with you when... <laughs> David, you got the wolf killed. How dare you? Yeah. The moment you pressured me into saying I better not, I knew it was coming. Saw that coming. Oh, did Mike just die? I think he just died. But at least it's making it seem like he just died. I think he could have shot those explosive barrels and it would have blown them all up. Yeah. I should have since I already killed two of them. What's a few more loose spirits? I don't know if Mike died right there. I don't know. I've always shot the barrels. I've always seen people shoot the barrels. So, good. I changed it up for you. Hey, look. Jess is alive. Hey, Jess. I told you she was fine. Yeah. She shouldn't be. <laughs> but. <laughs> now, how long she been laying down here? That's the question. Hours. Because that happened around midnight. Yeah. That's a long time to be just lying there bleeding and... And she has no idea what's going on. None. They at least have some clue of what they're up against. Come on, guys, hurry up. We gotta find Mike. Come on. How do you find a headband flashlight? I'm, I'm she probably had one. She seems like the mountain climber, remember? True. I mean, all those clothes, those are mountain climbing clothes. And hiking. No, Chris, we're not leaving you. We're sticking together. Mike will just have to wait. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> yes, you're playing as Ashley. I was like, this is a lot of people all of a sudden. Hey, hey Chris, this way. That'll be fine. <laughs> don't tell me you don't know how to walk. <laughs> it's always good to get the above shot of uh, following your characters. It's a cool shot. It is. It's doesn't, interesting to see. Doesn't it at all make you think something's following you. I'm sorry, I'm still torn up about that wolf you got killed. I know. I mean, you knew it was coming. I'm probably going to get them all killed. It's not looking good for anybody. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very curious to see. And I am not surprised in the least bit. Shit. Mike must have locked it behind him. Crap. There's got to be another way in. I was thinking that when he locked it. Was... They're definitely coming after him, so, uh... What about the sewer? Yeah, just go further and further down. But first... I don't think you can really explore anywhere. Nope. It's just... <coughs> just Wait. a tease. Hey, what about this? Hey, guys. You know how fun it is to go in the dark, creepy spots when something's trying to kill you? How about we go even darker and deeper? Sure. Damn it. I mean, you didn't have to just put the whole thing down. I think you can do it. Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. So who's going first? <laughs> After you. And a one in the hole, and a two in the hole, and oh, they're dead. Yep. It's well, not so bad. I mean, it's you either go down or tunnel to the sanatorium. Go back to that room. Where else would it go? I mean, Chris, there's technically a lot of places it could go. All right. I'm trying, Ash. I know, Chris. Like, everybody's kind of beat up. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, Sam the least. Yeah. Actually, no, yeah, Sam the least. Yeah, I was going to really... say Ashley, but she got concussed, probably. Yeah. I was going to say Sam really just got chloroformed. Hey, um, hey, we should close this, right? Huh? 
I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it. But we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? Wow, yeah. Sam. Way to leave her behind. I know. She seems so good about, like, trying to... Takes care. literally 30 seconds to close. If that, to close. It took two seconds. Yeah. She's been all, like, for everybody this whole time, and now all of a sudden that's... We don't have time to wait for you. Mm-hmm. We can try to save Emily and everybody else, but can't wait for you to just close that one grate. Yeah, they split the party. They left you behind. I yeah. have a hard time believing Chris would leave you behind. Yeah, that's really what doesn't make any sense right now. Emily, I can see. Chris, though, really? Yeah. He would leave you behind? Like, Sam also doesn't particularly make sense, but I could see her trying to, you know... In the moment. Yeah, just kind of focused on moving forward and... But yeah. Chris, there's definitely no way that... Who's there? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? Rejoin the group or investigate the voice. Damn it. You can take a moment to pause if you want. Make a decision. Just turn the camera towards you. Have her look at you. I know. Oh, oh she, she doesn't even look. No. No, she doesn't turn her head. She just... Oh, oh there, there we go. Goes. <laughs> I was like, she just she turned She just her turned her eyes. The facial capture on this game yeah, is really good. I'll have to show you the behind-the-scenes footage of them. Because you can see it in Hayden Panettiere and, and that, but... Yeah. Like, for all of them, it's really spot on. So, her charitability and honesty has really gone up. Bravery right. dropped down, so did her funny. Her romantic went up. And obviously, very uh, big with Chris. Everybody else is still just kind of... People. She still has a better relationship than jo with Josh than anyone else other than Chris. I know. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. <laughs> you would have thought that would have dropped a lot more. Yeah. Oh, this sucks. What you gonna do, Dave? I don't know. Because I feel like she's the kind of person that would try to help out, especially if she thinks it's Jess. Mm-hmm. But, uh, that bravery is also dropping. <laughs> That's very true. And you don't split the party. That is also very good D&D &D logic. Yep. So what you gonna do? So, I'm going to... Go against what I should do. You're gonna go against what you should do? Yep. This is so you... Crazy. Did you just want to go against the grain of what you thought was the right thing to do, or do you think this is the right thing to do? I absolutely do not think this is the right thing to do. Jessica, so are you trying to get her killed? No. But if it's possibly Jessica, which, you know, I know exactly what's going on here. What do you think's going on? It's mimicking her. <laughs> then why would you go down the tunnel if you think it's mimicking her? Because I just thought about that after I jumped down the tunnel. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so you didn't think of that in the moment. You thought about it after the fact. It was one of those, like, immediately afterwards, I was like, oh, yep, forgot about that mimicking part. Could probably back out at this point and redo the choice if you wanted. Uh, that just feels cheap. Yeah, they just momentarily got me by showing Jess, like, right at the beginning. So it was like, as soon as I jumped down, it was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Mimicking. Yeah. So... Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, ripped her head off. I was really hoping you wouldn't choose to go down the tunnel. Yeah. I really love Ashley, and I wanted her to live. So did I. Well, you're you're two for two right now, David. Yes. You're two for two in the death column. Yeah, knock out all the teens. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. So there's there's a video. Very much new to keep going with the group. I'll have to show you this video afterwards. There's a video of Markiplier playing this scene, and he got so mad because he wanted her to live. He was like, no, 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 no. And he, like, I think he replayed the whole chapter. Just to... Just to save her. But it's, it's really it, funny. I'll show you. So it didn't dawn on him that, uh... Uh-uh. He didn't even realize it or think about it. 
he didn't have that moment you did where it was like, oh shit, it can mimic. Yeah. He was like, I gotta save Jess. Yeah. Because gotta... it was one of those things. It was like, I know that's the way I need to go. But because they showed her that was that momentary thing of like, well, if it actually is Jess, you and then as her. soon as I made the choice, I was like, oh yeah. The thing I've been waiting to happen at some point because they mentioned it. And then I mentioned, I was trying to hint to you yep. subtly, but I was like, oh, going. it can mimic, David. Are you serious? Get back to the lodge. Uh, shouldn't we stick together? Sam. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to get Mike. With you or without you? Just make it back, okay? Well, as we're now splitting the party again. Don't fall. Gotta get up there. Uh, probably should. These things are really speeding up now. Yeah. You're end game, David. Yeah. End game. But she's a professional climber. She's got this. Come on, girl, you can do it. Alright, just leave. Probably gonna regret this, but hey. As long as you don't miss your quick time events, you'll be fine. That one actually seemed a lot slower than all the climbing ones. Okay, I was really waiting for one more. She's really, uh. Really putting those uh, flexible pants into uh, good use. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Damn it. That's the way back down. So, yeah, I think that's yeah. the only direction you can go. Okay, so what do we... Nope, don't. Damn it. I wanted to... Exp I was like, I saw two glowy things. That's fine. I think I did the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I clicked on it, and then I was like, oh, nope, it's not actually something to investigate. Nope. It's just a drop down. I really don't know if Mike is alive or not. Because it cut to black so quick. Yeah, like it didn't actually show him die. And I feel like it would. Like how it showed Ashley and, and Hello? Matt. Yeah. Uh, talking? Probably not the best idea, Sam. Definitely waiting for it to start mimicking his voice next. But now that you know it can do it. Alright, he's either very much no longer alive, but yeah, it would just feel weird for him to, for them to kill him off without... That's... that's fine. I mean, she's not possessed. Yeah. As long as she don't eat people, she's good. Yeah, that's, right. that's true. So just don't turn to cannibalism and... What, the, what is he? What is she doing? I'm not entirely sure here. The camera's freaking out on you. On, you there we go. I'm like, I'm not sure why she's inspecting the shovel so closely. There you go, you made it through. Yeah, and I got a shovel. Shovel's better than nothing. Yeah. I think if you had gone through the door, you'd come down that as opposed to around. Mm-hmm. I'm like pretty sure this is the end of the chapter. Like, eventually, y'all will learn to carry weapons with you. Well, I guess Mike did keep his machete and everything. So. He did. He just didn't keep the pistol. Yeah. Which, I mean, he found a better gun. Yeah, but he still could have kept the pistol in the short term. Just in case. You never know. There could always be that crazy person in the woods. But well, she picked the shovel back up. Yeah. So they're finally starting to learn. As we go back out into the uh, winter wonderland. We got a creepy house over here. I think it's a sanatorium. Yeah, which is technically where I'm going. Looks like this might be taking me back towards where the graves were, maybe? Maybe. Or through the front gate. That'd be the side gate, right? Well, yeah. Uh, Hello? No, no, that could be the front gate. Or a site. I don't really know. I don't know either. It's big. Also, just calling out hello. Probably not, not the best. Yeah. Yeah. Like unless you actually see Mike, you probably shouldn't just call out. 
Hey, gas can? Radio? Gas can. gas can. But is there anything in it? Probably. Nope, nope. <laughs> Just empty. Yep, couldn't be that easy. I mean, what were you going to ignite it with? Your shovel? Yeah, get creative. You slam the... You scrape the shovel up against something, create some sparks. Um, I guess, yeah. All under pressure mm. while the crazy overpowered creature is diving at you, trying to tear your face off. Yeah, what could go wrong with that plan? You are doubling back. Just yeah, so you know. it dawned on me again. <clears throat> I don't think you can run in this game. So, I think you can only walk. Yeah. Running sometimes would be nice. Our relationship with Mike's really gone up. Which oh, yeah. Kind of was expecting. Um, everything else is... Uh, Go to the butterfly effect on the right. We got one new one. Go to man's best friend, David. No. Go to it. No. <laughs> See what you did. Mike failed to protect his new friend. That is horribly unfair. <laughs> you didn't lock the door. That is unfair. They should have showed him in the room with me. They had the wolf completely disappear. They don't show him. You don't see him in there with you. Rule of thumb, David. Barricade doors. I normally do, except for when there's something that's really fast coming after you. It was a quick time game, David. <laughs> exactly. I was like, I just kind of keep shooting this thing, because I barricade it. It just comes through the other hole in the wall. <laughs> well, left behind, what happens? Ashley wouldn't leave Chris. Ashley followed the voice. Ashley went to the trap door. <laughs> meaning Ashley's dead. <laughs> yeah. So. You killed two people this episode. <laughs> yeah. The one I do regret. I mean, I regret both. But the one I had no idea that was going to happen. You killed happen. Wombat, Wolf, and Ashley. Yeah. See, the wolf did not see coming. Until afterwards when I realized, oh, he's just standing there. Great, that's where he's dying. Yep. Ashley, that was just me stupidly choosing something I wouldn't normally choose. The minute you ran forward and I saw the hole in the ground for the wolf, I was like, oh, the wolf's gonna die. Yeah. You didn't barricade the door. Yeah, that's what I get that one time I don't barricade something. <sighs> yep. And watch, so next time I'll go to barricade something and I'll die and for you'll it. you'll die anyway. <laughs> this game just likes to keep you on your toes, David. Yep. They'd be like, oh, see, you wasted your time trying to barricade it. Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah. Did, did you forget about those things? I mean, it was a sudden jump scare. It was all quiet. True. I mean, she's had a peaceful journey, but... You very... Plus, she hasn't actually seen one yet. True. Yeah, let's let's go inside that place. Let's do this slowly, David. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she reach they reach out for things so just like they have slow? Like they have no care in the world. Mike! Hey, he's alive. I was like, I don't know if this is gonna be a quick time or That might be your chance, David. Yep, time to make up for my earlier mistake. Release all the spirits. Oh, he did it for me. Yeah, I was gonna say, y'all better run. <laughs> That's not just one explosive barrel there. Weren't there two in there? This should have been more than just one. But Game guess... failed at continuity. Yeah, well that one just really somehow survived the fires. You know, we're just unleashing all the spirits, it's fine. We just gotta hope there aren't plenty of cannibals out in the world. I mean, on the mountain. Yeah. They stay on the mountain. You alright? Uh, Define alright. Alive, for a start. Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. Yeah, because that's where I want to go. Oh, time to pause. Alright. So, statuses and collectibles. There's nothing new about the twins. 
These have all been updated. So we have partially transformed Windigo. Okay. That's true. I forgot all about that uh, skull from Oops. earlier. You let the wrong one in. I don't know what that does. Oh, probably getting Ashley killed. Probably. Uh, yep. Must have killed all those people. That was pretty obvious. Uh, looks like the restrained miner was turning into one. Yeah, we knew that. The Wendigos have been have overrun the Senate. Bragg's body was never found. Well, it was now. This was one of the Wendigos caged up in the sanatorium. That's probably the one you just blew up. Yeah. I mean, they they all pretty much look the same. Mystery Man, Totems. Uh, you can rewatch that one just to get the new off of it. Fourth row or fourth column, third row. Because that's yeah, that's that one. Uh, ah, which is what just happened. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, that's her coming in to save the day. I think if Mike blows it up, she shows up as the room explodes, mm. and they're like, "Let's get out of here." Yeah. Or Mike comes busting through the door as she gets to it. She doesn't go in and save him because he blew them up anyway. Yeah, but in this case, she got to save the day. Yeah. She got to be the hero. Um, uh, those... You did get one or so more, I think, since uh, we watched it, because you got that one for sure. Yeah, because actually, yeah, that... I think that... Sometime after, the prospect... Yeah, I think the one right after. This mountain. Yeah, because not jumping... And woke the... Yep. It's not yeah, jumping well, straight to... <laughs> Alright. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only new thing. Yeah, all the other ones we already had. Alright. Yeah, well... And we already looked through those, so yeah, we're good to go. Wait, go back to the status of click. Go back to the butterfly effect? Oh, did I miss one? At, oh, yeah. At what they, price? At what price? Still um, had a usable machete. She rescued Mike. She rescued Mike from the sanatorium. That's what it was. Yep. Okay. So we'll see you all in the next and final episode. Yeah, we'll see uh, how many I get killed. Bye. Bye.